Hi, and welcome to the first episode of The Heat Seat, the show where we take a look at the world of hot sauces to see what's hot and what's weak sauce. Sorry about that. Anyway, before we get started, a quick word to fans of my videos. I know I posted a trailer for this series about six months ago, but uh, I've been really busy with school and work, so and it's only now that I'm able to do this because I'm actually on vacation uh, on the Sunshine Coast. So without further ado, let's do this. Today's hot sauce is Blair's Original Death Sauce. I picked this up at the Safeway in Powell River for about $10. It's a little pricier than what I'm used to, but uh, let's give it a try. Uh, first category is style. So taking a look at the box, you can see it's uh, quite nicely decorated. It's got lots of little sayings on it, stuff like uh, over 50 million survived worldwide. Over 60,000 pounds of wings are made each week with Blair's. Did you know that? Well, now you do. An anti-corporate belief system rules here. Made with great karma. Did you know that Blair's is printed in six languages? Oh, this is also a collector's edition box with limited production. And it says it comes with world famous dangling skull included in the box. So let's open it up and see what's inside. There you go. So uh, yeah, there's a dangling skull and it looks like electrician's tape taping it to it. That's a no-no. So I give it a solid four out of five for stuff. And uh, losing marks because of this, what looks like electrician's tape here. Now if I can open this part. The next category is functionality. One of the things that bothers me with many hot sauce bottles is they have such tiny little spouts and it takes, you gotta shake it and shake it and shake it and it doesn't come out and you shake it some more and finally it all just kind of splurges out. But, so that's one of the things that bothers me with hot sauce. But this one actually looks like it's got like a nice big um, top here so it all comes out pretty easily. The only thing I had trouble with was opening the box and the bottle itself. Um, so again, I think this gets a four out of five for me. It looks like it works pretty well. Maybe a little bit too well. Came out more than I thought. All right, next category is look. Well, as you can see, it looks a little bit thicker than your average hot sauce. Um, you can see there's little bits of green and uh, stuff, there's stuff in there. Let's just say that. To me, that looks moderately appetizing, but a little bit on the gloopy side. So this gets a three out of five. Next category is smell. And now the smell is more important than you think with hot sauces because that's what really gets, you know, your, that's what really sort of whets your appetite is the smell of it. Does it make your mouth tingle? So let's see what this smells like. It's got a pretty strong smell. Almost a very aged kind of a smell. I can't quite say that it makes me want to eat it though. So uh, I think the smell is going to actually get a 2 out of 5 on this one because it doesn't smell that great. But let's see how it tastes. That's the big one. <coughs> it's got that kind of strong, smoky flavor. You know, it doesn't taste that amazing really. Try again. You can really taste the texture in it. You can sort of <clears throat> sort of feel the stuff in there. It's not just a sauce. There's actually some substance in here. <clears throat> so for the taste, I think I'm going to give it six out of ten. Just I don't know. I was expecting more from a ten dollar bottle of hot sauce. I think. For the heat, I was expecting more from something called death sauce. I, like granted, this is, you know, the original one, and it only ranks this low on the chart, so it's a little bit of a disappointment there. But it was moderately spicy, it's easy stuff. Nothing really that death-defying about it. So uh, I'll add up all the scores. 
and see what the overall thing is. Just give me one second. I'm here with my little sister Marika, and she's going to give you her opinion of what she thinks of Blair's original death sauce. Y'all ready? Yes. I'm not doing it. No, no, you gotta do it for real. No. No, 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 I can see you're not doing it. Come on. Lies can have it. It's spicy. It's hot sauce. It's supposed to be spicy. But you said it wouldn't be spicy. Spicy. I don't like you. Okay, I can't even remember what numbers I gave it. So I'm gonna just give it an overall um, rating out of 10 and forget the math. So, um, yeah, it wasn't as spicy as I thought. Tasted okay, but not amazing. Had good style, good functionality though. So I'm gonna give Blair's original death sauce a seven out of 10. Some foods I would recommend with Blair's original death sauce would be, um, I think pastas would go well, red sauce based pasta, tomato based pastas, uh, chicken, and maybe fish if you like that kind of thing. Uh, here it, on the label it says you can use it with death wings, which sounds pretty good again, chicken. Clams, oysters, crawfish, chili, Bloody Marys, jambalaya, or anything you desire. I kind of like that. Most hot sauces actually only give you limited options of what you can use it for. But here it says anything you desire. It gives you that freedom. I kind of like that. But um, clams and oysters, I'm not sure if this flavor really works with that kind of seafood. Um, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go against that. But definitely chicken, um, tomato-based pastas, and maybe eggs, I think. So that about sums it up for Blair's Original Death Sauce. My name is Jordan, and you've just been in the heat seat.